The superintendent at Lewport says when it comes to cyberbullying in particular, his district is no different than any other. This happens weekly, sometimes daily. But he also says efforts to stem it are sometimes hamstrung by federal laws. I sign a document every year that says every computer in our school district is, is properly filtered, and we're required to do that. Under the Children's Internet Protection Act, which aims to bar access to inappropriate materials on school computers, but it also blocks school computers, including his, from accessing social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. And while well-intended, he says it can make it difficult to investigate cases of cyberbullying. Difficult, but not impossible. When he's brought to our attention, we'll have our technician open up our, uh, our um, filtering system so then we can access it, then we close it back up afterwards. Which is what the assistant principal at the high school recently did to be able to thwart a potential physical confrontation between some kids who got carried away when they were trading barbs on Twitter. But still. It is an energy sucking, it's a time consuming process. But necessary at this point at least for this district and others in order not to jeopardize their funding. I think we are, and we are going to see rather soon some of these requirements uh, being lifted.